Nevada's Viking sauce. Oh yeah, I wanted to try this too. I like gnocchi and I have this herb, potato gnocchi and herb and butter sauce so I'm going to have tomorrow. What the hell are my green onions? Hmm. That's weird. We never run out. Ever. But I guess I don't get any green onions. Which is okay. So, this is going to be amazing. I love how it's kind of sticky in the teriyaki. You can add a little bit of water to it just to kind of get this, just to get a little bit out there. There you go. It's the gochujang, it's sticky. It's really cheap to make too. That's what I love about it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like very often. So I let it cool down. And before I add the chow mein noodles. And then when this cools down and it's not steaming, then I add the chow mein to it to give it a crunch. You can add some cashews to it. You can add some almonds to it. You can add some peanuts to it for a crunch. Shut up. Hey, Shy. All right, I'm out of you. So when that cools down a little bit, then you add the crunchiness because you don't want your crunchy needles to be soggy. You can add some. Yes, baby. Hi. Hi. I ran out of green onion and y'all. That never happened. So it's still steaming. So once it kind of stops steaming, then I add if you like lo mein and you like chow mein, so I'm gonna add like half of the rest of this in here. It's so damn good too. And I have straw in here. Yep. Water burger straw. So I had tuna fish sandwich this morning because I ate a really good lunch yesterday. So it was a healthy day. Crunch. 
to rest. It's super good. By the way. And that's what I made. And it's so freaking good. Yum. And for y'all that are judging my food, I don't give a fuck. Y'all are assholes anyways. Why, why would I give a fuck who's getting blocked? As long as the nice ones aren't getting blocked, right? Fuck the rude ones. Ain't got time for rude people. Maybe y'all should have been paid. My yummy meal. I don't go fuck about Kanye. He's dumb. Oh, that's fire. Uh huh. That's so yummy. If you like lo mein and you like chow mein, you can't figure the two. You just put them together, man. It's so good. I'm just mad I didn't have any green onions. Mm hmm. Oh, that's way better than sriracha. Hell yeah. Mm hmm It's got that sesame, teriyaki, garlic. Yep. The soft noodles are packaged up, and then I add chow mein noodles to it, and it's so good. I don't think it's a vegan. Because I think the powder is chicken flavored. So I don't think it's a vegan recipe. Even though there's no meat, it still may not be vegan. Mm-hmm. It's so good, y'all. So... Me and my brother used to eat this all the time growing up. And our friends, and we would add, it, add the chow mein noodles. Because one package it doesn't like feed two people. And we also used to do popcorn and spaghettios with the hot dogs. You know? It's so freaking good. If y'all had a bite, y'all would be like, hell yeah. And if y'all had leftovers for Thanksgiving, you can make these um, deep fried Thanksgiving bowls. So what you do is you grab your leftover mashed potatoes, okay? And add the meat into it, like your turkey. You put them in a bowl, you put it in the well, actually, you put in your corn in it, too. So, you have the mashed potatoes, turkey, corn, um, stuffing, right? So, you blend it all together. You, like, you mix it all together. Then, you make your balls, right? And then, you put it on, like, parchment paper, on a pan. You can use foil if you want. It doesn't matter, but I wouldn't recommend using foil in the fridge. Um... You wait till it's like cold, cold, so that when you deep fry them, it's amazing. And then you keep gravy on the side so you can dip it in. Me? I could. 
I made bourbon chicken before. Bourbon chicken is really good. I used um, the white breast meat though. You dark meat is more juicier. It's so good. And you definitely want gravy. I actually made them one time for a Christmas party at my last job. So, the thing about, do you want to know what the key to success is? Thing. Do y'all want to know what the key to success is? Because I guarantee you, most of y'all would get it wrong. Any guesses? What is the key to success? Thanks, Walk. Does anybody know what the key to success is? Thanks, Navy White. I don't care about Kanye. What? No. The key to success is failure. You want to know why? If you never fail at anything, you can never get better. You know what made Kobe Bryant so good? Because he always wanted to be better than Michael Jordan. But the fact is, he was way better than Michael Jordan, actually. But because he set his mind to an extreme goal, even though he made it, that's what kept him successful. You know, he really showed up in basketball, you know, from high school. How, what do you think golfers do? Golfers are very, very dedicated and they're, they have to practice adequacy, adequate. Uh-huh. And life is all about failing. Life is all, always about learning from mistakes. And if you can't learn from mistakes and you continue and continue doing it, then you're never gonna be a better person. And if you, if you set your mind that you have made all your accomplishments and you can't do anything more successful, then you haven't, then you've reached a failure. Then you failed. And it's okay to lose. Losing is actually winning to me. Because if you win all the time, then you won't know how to get better at things. I'm trying to find my battery pack, man. Where is it? Where is my battery pack? Did I lose it? Where is it? And when other people have to take someone else's happiness away, it's because they're unhappy with themselves. Hold on. Uh, I don't want to do these ones. Just trying to plug this charger in my phone. All right. Let me do this. Sorry. No, Shy, you ain't coming up here. But yeah. Oh, I don't want those wings. Hey, Gothic. I was cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
are more than half. And it's gonna be amazing. So good. And I don't give a fuck. There's a happy answer for saying what? Can you have some eating this? It's my birthday. I like savory things more than sweet. That is what lost me all freaking day. Go check. Okay, give me a second. Let me get one more bite. Okay, give me a second. She holds in this cat tree right there. Okay, I'm gonna go check. Peppermint, man. Sage smells like peppermint. Mm. All right. It smells like peppermint. <laughs> okay. We got sage. It's an entirely homemade sage, packaged with love and care. It smells so good. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on, let me move my food. Oh wow, this is really interesting. Thank you, Gothic. Okay, woo. Talk about, okay. Let's open this. Oh, that's nice. So this is the bowl. This is the wood I put in the bowl, correct, Gothic? Where you, that you burn? Like you probably set it in like that, I'm guessing. Okay. And then this is the sage, correct? Wait, do I have three pieces of different kinds of wood? You burn this with the sage. Do I put this in the bowl? And what, what is this for? So I have two of these. Which is this? This is the wood, right? That's wood too. Or is this sage? Okay. 